Into the wind, into the wind. Woo! Full trigger. Oh, we landed it. Around with that on 6S. Screaming, son. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the Blackjack 42 out here at the New River, all right? I'm gonna be running some SMC DV Extreme series of batteries, the 6300 milliamp 135C. I've got the 5200 milliamp 135 DVs in the boat, okay? Uh, running a stock electronics. Uh, it's the weekend, we got boaters in and out. It's uh, a little windy. I'm just messing around out here, testing out some work I did to the bottom. So stick around, Big B with Ironclad RC. They're fun. Yeah, I'm actually doing a YouTube. Look, there it goes again. Yeah, it's wanting to act up when I go get far away. Yeah, she's running good. Did a little bit of work to the bottom. Oh, we flipped it. All right, let's go get it. It's a holiday weekend this weekend, you guys. I, I, I slipped my mind. I slipped my mind. It's gonna be busy down here today. Uh, just out here playing. I'm just out here playing around. Not really trying for numbers, but I did have some power cuts. Not even, well, not a power cut. It's more like a range issue. So we need to check that out. Maybe the battery's in my remote. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a Blackjack 42. That's what it's called. That's really cool. You said so, you're doing a YouTube video? Yeah, yeah. How long have you been doing that? About a year and a half. Yeah? Yeah. How's it going? Pretty good, actually. Better than I expected, man. Uh, well, it's not every day you see a remote control boat that goes 80 miles an hour. <laughs> How much is like an RC boat? This one here is on the expensive side. It's about six. And then you got to buy bad 600. 600 and you got to buy batteries and charger and all that stuff well, for something that goes 80 miles an hour i'd say that's pretty worth it too. yeah oh yeah out the box out the box the boat will do about 60. Oh, you gotta do some stuff. i've upgraded it and stuff so you know bought you know props and all that stuff you know that's fine awesome. fine tuning the boat you know so a year and a half you're at seven thousand subscribers yeah that's incredible i do videos daily basically Is daily that what you do? I have a tree company oh, okay. oh man it cut power again yeah I gotta fix that oh we landed it that was cool that was freaking cool yeah my best with this boat is 82 man it's one of the fastest on YouTube that is awesome. did it again I think it's these cheap batteries I got in my remote and we got a water cooling line off. So I see there's spray coming off my, out of my rudder. I think I got a water cooling line that popped off in the crash. Let's see. Yep. See that cooling line in the back? Uh -huh. See it hanging there? It's actually water cooled, water cooled electronics. Pretty cool, man. The boats are cool, man. They're cool, they're cool as hell. You gotta be careful in this water. Why, it's happened? salty. Oh. It's bad for your electronics in there. That's still, this is awesome. Yeah, bro. yeah, man. It, my channel's called Ironclad RC. Ironclad. Like the old Ironclad ships, yeah. you know? Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 
let's uh, let's check her out here. I think I'm having that range issue because I put cheap batteries in my remote, these Rayovacs, and I normally use Duracell. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I can actually tell a difference in range with the cheap battery versus the expensive battery. Uh, so keep that in mind, you guys. If you're running like in a big area, you know, uh, quality battery in your remote or like a rechargeable battery. I hadn't done the rechargeable battery deal yet. I probably should. It's probably smart and much cheaper in the long run. <laughs> but uh, quality batteries, it does make a difference. It does make a difference. So I'm out here just having some fun today. Let's check the GPS. If it's still on, I didn't have it plugged into my BEC or nothing. So it may have shut power. Let's check for water because I did flip it a couple times. Seventy-seven. Damn it, I wasn't even trying, you guys. Seventy-seven. Jeez. Alright, and I got some freaking water in the boat here. Where is that water coming from? So I'm thinking, uh, I got a little bit of water and I had a little bit of water in my boat last time. I'm thinking I might, might have a seam that may have busted loose right here. You know what I mean? I might have a seam busted loose cause my, my plastic is starting to rip on that seam. So we may need to go through and uh, E6000 that seam right there. That's what I've been using on this polycarbonate for seams and it, uh, it seems like it's been doing okay. Um, so let's check the battery voltage. 77. Those are only 5,200 milliamp batteries. And uh, I got a few runs in. I had a power cut there. It might not have been range on that power cut. So 15 volts on the one. 375. So they're discharged. More than I would like to discharge them. But uh, that's that's still okay. That's still okay. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take these 5200s out. And I'm going to put the 60, 6300 in. Okay. This is a hard case. And this is a long soft pack. All right. So uh, I, I hadn't really ran this battery in the boat yet. I did, but I didn't really get a good, good run in. So I'm interested to see how the boat performs with these 6300s opposed to the 5200. That 5200 gave me my 50... No, 82 miles an hour. So I'm excited to see these, what these do. So uh, I'm gonna get them changed out and I'll cut back in. All right, all right. So we got the 6300s, 135C there. I'm excited to see what the boat does with these bigger batteries. Ooh, yeah. Now I didn't change my batteries out, so I gotta keep the boat somewhat close. Uh, running into a range issue look at there already all right nice all right let's get us another pass in here Cooling lines keep popping off. All right. Beautiful. Nice pass. Into the wind, into the wind, into the current. Floating, baby, floating. She's floating, boys. I think my rudder's kicked up into the wind. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Move off. Stroll. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I did it again. My rudder's kicked up. I'll go back. 
Yeah, yeah. Forwards only type thing. There we go. Yeah, let's bring her in. Something's going on with my steering. I think my rudder's kicked up. Not giving me a right right turn. So we're gonna have to check that out. something's going on here let's see what's going on with the boat here you guys uh, no steering a little bit of steering oh okay oh my nut came off my nut came off and I uh, I broke my my breakaway all right, so that's okay. I'm uh, actually done with the boat for the day anyway. That's uh, perfect. That's weird. I uh, I had just put a nut on here with Loctite. I mean, it was it was good. It was good. So uh, let's see what we did for speed here, real quick. Should be interesting with that bigger battery. She wasn't run, running at her full potential there, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happened here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Her. Man, she was running good. Really good. Oh, we got some water in the freaking boat, you guys. 77 again. <laughs> 77 again. All right. So, uh, I'm actually going to call it a day. Um... I just need to put that nut on right there, which is no big deal. Just kind of vibrate it off. I even had Loctite on it, you know, that's weird. 77, so uh, that was fun, a little fun Labor Day bash. We'll see you guys next time. All right, Big B, with Ironclad RC. So we're back at the shop, you guys. I got the 42 on the block here, uh, trying to uh, resolve a few issues that has arose uh, earlier in the video, okay? Uh, so I've got a screw picked out for my rudder, okay? I had actually just changed this screw out. I put a shorter screw, the screw that was in it was longer. And I, I put this shorter screw in and um, Loctite the nut on, like you guys seen it just backed off easy peasy i got a screw that matches the other two screws it's a little heavier duty uh three millimeter screw with a larger allen okay so we're going to replace that in the next one uh i actually found this um my electronics tray had busted loose right here on in this one corner everything else seems to be on the boat perfect it's just this one side so we'll actually have to epoxy that back down we'll do this in the next video with the boat uh just kind of informing you guys what happened at the speed run spot okay i've been doing some like high speed runs with this boat i had some 80 mile an hour flips and uh stuff like this happens when you're trying for speed stuff like this definitely happens it's no nobody's fault you know just uh high speed flipping that's period you know so we're going to fix this in the next video and i actually got another thing i found uh the leak okay um when i got home i pulled my esc out the boat all right, I pulled the ESC, my RXTX, and um, I rinsed the boat out. I got all the salt water out. I let the boat dry, okay, overnight. And uh, earlier, just now, I actually took my water bottle here. I usually use this to flush out my cooling lines on the fly or find a leak in my cooling system. Uh, so what I did is I just basically, you know, I had my ESC out, so I basically dumped this whole bottle of water in the boat, okay? I filled the the, the sponsons up with water looking for a leak like visually watching for drops of water coming out the boat i suspected my leak was right here you know you could see where 
the 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 vinyl sticker has tore along the seam right here i suspected my leak was right there because i've actually fixed a leak in the boat i had broke that seam apart uh previous you know you can actually see the glue right here um i used e6000 to fix this leak and reattach my seam you see this right here where i'm pointing to all right it's like a brace that's in the boat so what i did is i pulled this brace out okay i just it was like loose on one side and i just broke the rest of it loose it's like from here to here i pulled that out i filled the seam with e6000 and then i, I basically uh put e6000 on this brace and uh clamped it back i did this about six months ago and that's holding up that e6000 is holding up believe it or not so uh let me get the boat turned over flipped around here tipped my boat forward and i suspected i had a leak right here i, I ran over my boat with my v2 and i scarred up the boat right here you can see the prop where i where I ran the boat over and I put a hole in the boat right here. And I used Bob Smith 15 minute epoxy and carbon fiber to fix this hole. I actually took the foam out the boat, pulled the foam out and I did a, a patch inside and out with carbon fiber chopped up in my epoxy. And I suspected the leak was right here. You know what I mean? I had, Cause I had just done this maybe two, three weeks ago. And um, I didn't even make a video on it. I was just kind of ready to get the boat fixed up. Um, so, so the leak wasn't coming from here, you know? And uh, it was surprising because, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of people say that epoxy don't stick to polycarbonate. And I also thought that epoxy didn't stick to a uh, polycarbonate, but it does. Uh, you know, I've done my sponsons here um, and uh, it does stick to it. And um, But the leak wasn't coming from there. The leak was coming from the seam right here, okay? Cause it was only a small amount of water, you know? and um, so a good way to find a leak in your boat of course take your electronics out fill it up with water and watch for water coming out the boat you know what i mean just watch where water's dripping from you know and i've got a leak right right there all right so we're going to use epoxy to fix it i was just wanting to show you guys you know where and what we're going to be doing in the next video okay uh so so we gotta fix that. Like I said, we gotta put the bolt in the rudder, which is easy, and reattach the electronics tray. Okay? I just wanted to kind of update you guys on what was going on with the boat. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good good. Big B. With that clarity.